This is a video by Rich Pin. What we're doing today is we're making a automotive leak down tester and these are all the parts you need to make it. Now the first part we'll need is a regulator. You can pick one of these up at Home Depot. I've already got a male quick disconnect already mounted to it. So you'll need that. And we're going to need a 1 8 pipe plug to plug where the gauge would go on the regulator. Next we'll need some JB Weld and you'll need a gauge that will go beyond 100 PSI. Next we'll need two of these two inch long quarter inch pipe piece of pipe and we'll need a quarter inch T-fitting pipe and we'll need a female quick disconnect we'll need some Teflon tape and maybe one of the hardest things to find will be a number 60 drill I picked this up at the local hardware store now if you can't find it at the hardware store try a hobby shop it's a very small drill and what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow the hose from my compression tester. And what I'll do is I'll take the valve out of the end of it and then I can use that. So those are all the parts we need. Okay, we're going to use about this much JB Weld. And what I did here is put some tape on the thread so we won't accidentally get it on there. And we'll mix that up. This is the um, quick weld type. They have a couple of other ones. This one dries pretty quickly. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll scoop that and put that into the piece that was the two inch pipe okay there, we can put a little bit more in there get a nice plug going Okay, now we'll lay it right down on the piece of wood right there so the JB Weld settles all the way to the end. Now we'll let that harden. Okay, while that's hardening right there, I'm going to put on the other two inch long piece of pipe into the T fitting. And we got our Teflon tape there. And we'll just tighten that up. I've already got that tightened and tighten it just like so. And now we can put our quick disconnect on the end of it. And we can tighten that up. Okay, there we go. That's all set. Okay, it's been a couple hours and she's set up pretty good. So what we're going to do is, put a little sandpaper here and we want to get right down to the end of our little pipe here. There we go. Now we can take our tape off. Now I forgot to explain what this is. This is the damper valve 
or jet or restriction. It's what makes this whole unit work. It restricts the airflow through the unit. Okay, I dressed it up on the wire wheel a little bit and uh, took the extra JB Weld that was in the threads. It is all clean now. Okay, now we have the piece of pipe with the JB Weld in the vise. And now the drill bit, that number 16 drill bit is too small for the chuck on this drill. So what I did is took some tape and put some tape around the drill bit. We're only drilling JB Weld, so we should be okay. And we'll try to go down the middle. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take that drill out and we'll go by hand just to make sure that that is clear. Get that out of the flutes there. Okay, beautiful. We have a nice hole in there now. Okay, we got our Teflon tape on the two inch pipe. So we're ready to put it into this rest of the piece here and the regulator. It doesn't matter which way you put that in. So we'll just start it in there. And we'll hold this down. And what we'll do is we'll clamp it away from the plug. We don't want to we don't want to crush it. Okay. We got that tight. Now we can put the regulator on. Put our wrench on right here. Okay. And now we can put our gauge in. This gauge, of course, is quarter inch pipe. Okay, there it is. There is your automotive leak down tester. Now in another video I'll show you how to use it on, on the car, but right now that's it. That's all there is 
to making your automotive leak down tester.